Nobody likes a fridge full of leftovers unless they're being used in things like these potato scones. Hello and welcome. Today we're making my favorite leftover mashed potato treat, potato scones, AKA tatty scones. They're so delicious and they're so easy. So if you've never read my blog or you don't know anything about me, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a lover of Scottish things because I lived there for a couple of years and I just love all things Scottish. And one of my favorite things in Scotland to eat is a tatty scone, which is not really like the scones that you think of when you think of, you know, the light fluffy, um, baked good. It's more of like a potato pancake that you put inside of a sandwich, preferably with haggis and brown sauce, which is HP sauce on a big fluffy roll with margarine, not butter. <laughs> Although butter would be really good too. <laughs> okay. So to kick things off, we have a bowl and we have a scale as per use, you know, I love me some weighing. So I'm going to do 250 grams of leftover mashed potato into the bowl. And some people put butter in here. I, if there's butter in the mashed potato, that's totally cool. But if there's not, then I just kind of leave it out. So 250 and then 65 grams of flour, just all purpose. This is why I love a scale because I'm just measuring right into the bowl. I'm not, dirtying a million things, blah, 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 scale, <laughs> get a scale. So potatoes, flour, I'm going to put a big pinch of salt in and a big pinch of pepper. So if you've never had haggis before, black pepper is a really predominant flavor in haggis. And I like it to be in my tatty scones as well. This is a situation. I'm just going to turn down the burner there. So once it's all in the bowl, I'm just going to give it a little work with my hands and you just basically work with this until it becomes a dough. So this is a great strategy for leftover potatoes because when you have a potato scone, you can build anything on top of it. You can put it on a haggis roll with brown sauce, like I mentioned, or you can, you know, put a fried egg on top or you can just basically have it as like a side dish to any dinner. Uh, it's delicious. They're so good. So there's my dough, a little bit more flour here. This is just a small amount cause you know, there's only two of us here and we don't want, although if I made a bunch of potato scones, I could definitely freeze them. It'd be awesome. And these are normally deep fried when you get them in the, in the roll shops. Uh, but we aren't deep frying. We're just going to pan fry. I guess I'm going to make two. That's about the amount that I have here. A little bit of flour on the countertop and I have a rolling pin, but you don't really need a rolling pin. You can kind of just push it out with your hands and just kind of make it round as you flatten it kind of like round the edges. You can do this in any shape you want. You can do mini ones. You can do little individual roundies, but the traditional shape is big and flat like this. And then if I have a little cutter, where's my thingy? If you have something like this, you just kind of do a little indentation in the top and a crisscross and then that just, and then when they're cooked, you can break them apart on those, on those marks and you get four individual tatty scones. So my pan is hot. It's on about medium heat. And if you want to fry these in butter, that's cool. But this pan is too hot for butter right now. So I'm going to use some vegetable oil. You could use a combo of vegetable oil and butter for a little extra flave. Flav. <laughs> That's for you, Andrew. Okay. The oil is in the hot pan. The pan is smoking. So here we go. 
gonna wash my hands. <laughs> and I guess I'll roll out my next one. Okay, so this one's getting a little dark, so I'm gonna flip it. Oh yeah. It's like, oops. So what's going on here is my pan's just a touch on the hot side, but it's already cooled down now that I've got this guy in there, but it's all good. Just gonna keep cooking it on the other side till it's nice and done. I put an egg on it, but I feel like I just do, that's, that would make me a one trick pony. <laughs> Okay, so my slightly too dark, but totally fine scone is ready to come out. So I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack just so that it kind of doesn't get soggy on the underside. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more oil in the pan. I'm gonna close the cupboard because <laughs> I never do that. And then my second scone is going in. Oh dear. Good thing I'm wearing dark clothes. Speaking of top tips, you guys, if you're scraping flour, cleaning up flour from any baking project, you need a scraper. You can use a plastic one, you can use a metal one, but can you imagine all this flour in a gross, like, dishcloth? No, it's a terrible thing. So this way you can scrape it all onto here, chuck this in the bin, the compost, the garbage, whatever. And now you've got like a reasonable surface to wipe down with a cloth. Just saying. Oh my God, I'm really burning them. So this isn't burnt though, actually. These are, these are nice. They're nice. They're nice, right? <laughs> they're, they're good. Um, things I love about Scotland. Well, I'll tell you, the beach that I used to go swim at is like the water is so warm. I never would expect the water to be that warm in on the west coast of Scotland. I thought it was gonna be crashing waves, freezing, whatever, but this is like a swimming pool and you could walk out forever and it was so nice. Castle Point, that's where I went swimming a lot. Near, um, near, whatchamacallit? Hey Siri, where is Castle Point, Scotland? See, she doesn't even know. It's in Dumfries and Galloway. I lived in Dumfries and Galloway. I worked at an amazing farm shop there called Loch Arthur. It was in a cute little village, still is, called Beeswing. And the people there are just amazing. Okay, so it's brown on both sides and it's done. So that is Taddy Scones. I'm getting an error from my beeping thing. Just turn it off for now. So I guess there's nothing left to do but have a bite. Oh yeah, they're super hot. This one's gonna be cooler. Mmm, warm toddy scum. So you can freeze these, you can reheat them in a pan. You can put an egg on them, you can, what else? Put them as like, pile up some meat on top and gravy, oh my God. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Tidy scones. <laughs> oh, you want one? <laughs> you want this one? <laughs> mm, they're good, aren't they? And it's so easy. You don't need like, it's not a big production. It's fine. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> 